Today, we're talking waste wood, which is the key source of energy that our energy department uses to provide heat to our greenhouses. So I'm currently sitting on top of 75 tons of waste wood, and our three wood boilers will go through all this wood in one day. This wood would generally be destined for a landfill, but we're taking that away from the landfills and turning it into a renewable resource. Hey guys, it's Herman Fair here. Today I'm hanging out with our energy department and I'm talking with Brian Fair. Brian, how are you doing today? Good, you? Good, I'm doing very good. So we're out here hanging out. It's about minus eight right now, a little chilly. So what I'm, what I'm wondering is what's, what goes on out here? What's, what's a day in the life for the energy department? Well, I usually start out bright and early with uh, Tim Hortons or something like that. And then uh, we come in, take our rounds, make sure everything's running smoothly. First off, usually with the boilers, uh, make sure everything's going good. Uh, uh, see if we've got any alarms overnight, stuff like that. Don't want any of those. Don't want any of those. Uh, yeah, and then pretty much just uh, make sure the room is full of wood and keep filling it with our stock here. And if we're running low on stock, uh, we get our trucker keeps bringing wood in. And whenever we can grind, we grind the wood up. Awesome. So this is already this is grinded wood right here. Yep. So it's pretty pretty fine. Yep. As opposed to the wood you got over here, which is a little more uh, raw, I guess. <laughs> So Johnny, you're the, you're the transporter. You're the one that brings all the wood here. That's correct. I pick it all up all over town and out from Woodstock area and bring it all in here. So that's where you get most of your wood, Woodstock area? Um, and uh... Yeah, Woodstock, we get the stuff that's ready for the boiler already. That's where we buy that. Okay. And then West Lorne, I pick up all those long sticks and everything. So the pallets and the, the, the bulkier wood. Yeah, the bulkier woods like yeah. Woodstock, I mean West Lorne and uh, Wheatley area, Tilbury, just okay. all local, all the local guys, they want to get rid of it, so we... You take it. Take it gladly. It's you're, 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 uh, that's your treasure right there. Another man's trash is your treasure. <laughs> that's right. Hey, it does good for us. Yeah. It keeps us warm. Exactly. Yeah, it's really, it's really cold out here, so we need, we need some warmth. Exactly. So how do you know this wood's good quality? What, what goes into that? Try not to get any garbage in there. That's pretty much it. Clean wood, no garbage. And So do you go inspect the wood before you, you, you take it in? Yeah, we usually, well, like, I'll unload it here. You see how it's kind of a long line? Yeah. I'll unload it, and then I'll go walk around and make sure they don't throw trash in there we don't want. And last but not least, we're with the lead of our energy department, Dave. So your main responsibility is to just keep the greenhouses warm. Pretty much. And this uh, this stuff right here that helps you out do helps you do that. Yep. This this is the gold right here. This is the gold. This is uh, this is what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking for a nice light color, very low moisture, about 10% or so, zero ash if possible. Yeah. There's a lot of heat in that pile right now. Beautiful. So how long, are, how long is your season? How long are these wood boilers running basically 24-7? It uh, depends a lot on the weather. We usually start about middle of September and we'll go till about middle of May usually. Really? So it's yeah. basically a little bit of the, little bit of the end of the fall there, yep. all the way through winter and then spring, a little bit in the spring as well. Right. Yeah. And you're, you're burning through 18,000 tons of wood. Yes. Per se heating season. Yep. Wow. Amazing. It's a lot of wood. It's a lot of wood.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.